United Arab Emirates is one of the worst, most uh, water scarce countries in the world. But on the other hand, water consumption is huge, almost over 500 liters per capita per day, double the global national average. The region and the country is trying to find the best way how to manage their water resources in the most sustainable way. Our civilization is hungry for energy. We rely on electricity. However, what's changed is we now need to produce electricity which is clean. London Array is a project, is a 630 megawatt wind farm which creates uh, electricity for half a million homes and it does that in a way which doesn't emit carbon dioxide. So do you know it was built to smooth that out by storing water up the mountain and allow it to flow through significantly large tunnels to generate power for the turbines we can see below us. There's a history here behind the Falkirk wheel. 250 years of canal history, there was real hard issues around about transport and travelling around Scotland. And these characters came forth with big ideas, big engineering and mixing both an aesthetic art and engineering together to deliver across Scotland a network of canal. The canal was an important transport route, uh, bringing goods from the north side of the river in the Ruaban area where there were lots of industries carrying goods up into the English Midlands along the canal network. The Ecofisk oil storage tank, which was the piece of infrastructure that came under threat, is sitting on the seabed and the seabed has moved downwards because of the sub subsidence. The, the neat solution to the problem was to surround the oil tank with a protective barrier. The Thames Barrier was built with flood defences stretching 350 kilometres in, in total length. Unfortunately, the Thames Barrier came about as a consequence of a major disaster for the South East. As a result, the government decided that that risk was not acceptable and built the Thames Barrier, which is behind me here. There are two major problems at Kuala Lumpur. On the one hand, um, there are every year uh, during the monsoon season heavy rainfalls and, and heavy floods, which caused an overflow of the, uh, of the two rivers. And that was the idea um, to, to have a combined tunnel system for traffic as well as for, um, for the, the flood um, deviation. At over 4,000 miles long, the River Nile is the longest river in the world. For millennia, people living along its length have used it for water supply and also for irrigation. But by the mid-1800s, the demand for Egyptian cotton was such that they needed more advanced irrigation practices. Wilcox's design was for the largest masonry dam ever built at that time. The dam was a huge success, but they quickly realised that they needed yet more water, such that the dam as it stands today is 36 metres high, two kilometres long, and stores five billion cubic metres of water. David Hume is one of the largest wastewater treatment works in the northwest and currently serves around 1.2 million people. It treats around 8,000 litres of water every second. The 140 million pound upgrade of the David Hume site includes a variety of works across the whole area. Now the reason we're doing all these works is that the government have given new guidelines to the quality of the water that comes out of the wastewater treatment plant, which is a reduction in ammonia. This water goes back into the Manchester Ship Canal, so we need to make sure it's good quality as it's going into the local environment. The Goldfields Water Supply Scheme is a project that involved the construction of a 565 kilometre long steel pipeline which pumped water all the way from the city of Perth on the west coast to the gold mines of Coolgardie and Kalgoorlie. The government was put under immense pressure to provide a reliable water source, not only for public health reasons, but also to assist the mining industry. Today we are at Loch Katrin. This is the start of Glasgow's water supply. From here, water was piped to Glasgow, 26 miles, 13 kilometres in tunnels, and the rest of it done either by pipeline or by cut and fill. From this point to Glasgow, the pipe travels 26 miles and only falls 22 feet over that length. What a fantastic engineering miracle this particular scheme is. 